what's going on you guys welcome back to another video i'm gonna make this quick because it's late and i just want to give a quick update on everything that's been going on at work but what i witnessed today was a narcissist in the highest state of misery since she couldn't really enjoy her birthday at work once again she's desperate for my attention which she knows she'll never have again and just the thought of knowing so makes her completely undone and full of misery. Her plans to entertain those around her and exclude me and tune me out just has continued to fail these last two days. And I'm knowing so because right in the midst of all the laughter and good time around her, she is unfazed just by knowing that I couldn't care less, and she knows this. So just when I thought that I had seen it all by the narc, all of a sudden, right during the moment that they're talking and laughing and everything, she makes this loud moaning noise. She goes like, Ugh. and it, it was a little louder than, a little more stronger than it. And I mean, again, just pure misery. You could see it all in her face. She just seems so unhappy and just on her last leg, just don't want to live anymore. And so everybody just pause and look at her, you know, just giving a natural reaction to something like that. And they just kind of throwing out stuff like, you okay? And girl, I know the feeling. And sometimes you just got to let it out. Sometimes I just feel like screaming with all this work we have to do. So they don't really know why she's doing this. And she's going to let them believe what they want to believe. So she's going to go right along with it. And then one of the ladies, she said, um, well, um, you've been getting any sleep at night. So I guess she's been bringing that up to them about not being able to sleep. And then again, you can see it all in her face. Then she tells some lie about her doctor told her that she just needs to take some vitamins now, as long as I've been knowing her, and I mentioned this in older videos, she has never been to the doctor. It'll be like the end of the world if you can get her to go to a doctor and just do the right thing about her health. So she was like, and then my aunt said she's going to buy it. Somebody always have to do something for her. You'll never hear her say that she's going to go and do what needs to be done for herself. Somebody always has to come to her rescue. My aunt is going to go buy me these vitamins. They say they work really well. Like, girl, shut up because you're doing nothing but lying. And so um, she just looks so miserable. Just by knowing that no matter what she does, I couldn't care less. And she know this. And so that's pretty much all she's been kind of letting off the last few days. She It's like she just don't have any more in her. She don't have no more fuel. But I'm not going to put nothing past her though because you just can't, you know, you you just can't put nothing past her. Nor. You never know what else they have up their sleeve. Um, she haven't been invading my workspace, and I'm so glad for that. I can be in my own area and not have to deal with her. She's still staring, and she's still coming in my area, even though she don't have to. She keeps coming, walking by me, and I still catch her watching me. You know, when you can tell somebody's looking at you from behind, like, you know, if you kind of turn your head a little and you just know somebody's behind you watching you. I still get that from her a couple of times throughout the day. But other than that, that that's pretty much all she's just been at in the highest state of misery. And that just goes to show that the narc is miserable without you. No matter how much of an act they put on to others, they're not really enjoying the moment. They can't even really be in the moment. Because they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking of the fact that you are gone. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.